Welcome to We Use Day. We Use Day is my weekly series where every single Tuesday I go check out a different Wii U game. Uh, this week we're playing Hot Wheels World's Best Driver, which I've heard nothing but terrible things about, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, the back of the box says, be the world's best driver. Gear up for the most intense challenges only Hot Wheels can deliver. Pick your team, choose your ride, and go for it. Uh, and we're just going to give it a go. Uh, again, I've heard like nothing good about this, but... Eh, whatever. We'll play for like 20 minutes, see how it actually is. Who knows? Ooh, we got like different abilities. Powerful. Outrageous. I want to go super fast. I want to go green team. It's like they knew that's what everyone would want on the first one. Although outrageous sounded pretty cool. I have no idea like what bearing any of that has on anything. We're going to go for it. Twin mill, off-road prototype, we got a jet threat. I can't, I don't think I actually have any of these. Bad to the blade. I'm feeling the twin mill. We're doing the twin mill. And we're going to see uh, what we got here. I really don't know what to expect. I just remember this game getting hammered by people on Steam when it came out, and I've heard nothing about the console versions. I expect this just to be like a really bad license title, which is a shame, because like Hot Wheel games tend to be pretty okay. Like Hot Wheels Crash was really good. Turbo Racing was cool. Press the acceleration button to speed up. But uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So right away, the uh, the turning goes nothing to all the way like instantly. That is oof. I'm gonna be crashing a lot. I think. That felt odd. That felt really, really, really odd. Alright. So, so far it looks like the gamepad doesn't really do anything. I just had like a little green graphic on my gamepad that had like nothing to it. It looked like a desktop wallpaper. Let's see what we got. Alright, so the gamepad right now literally only says what I'm playing. It says I'm playing flat out elimination. It tells me what the goal is and that's it. So gamepad doesn't look like it's really used for anything here unless there's like off TV play. I don't know. Alright, so the controls, they're bad. <laughs> they are. Really something else here. Alright, so we got different cameras. Okay. Just the three cameras. Okay. Already failed. Okay, so wait, what's my goal then? So I gotta pass through the elimination gates, apparently. So do I have to hit like every single speed boost here? I must. I must get like max top speed. Yeah, sorry, like I'm trying to like get adjusted to like what these controls are. Like you can probably tell like how floaty this is. Like it just you just slide. That's like oof. That's really bad. Like, that's astonishingly bad. Like, I can't get a feel for this. Holy crap. Alright. I wonder, like, who made this driving engine thought, like, it was a good idea. Like, I'm constantly having to, like, go left or right, because I can feel my car, like, starting to steer out under me. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be rough doing a few races like this. And graphically, it doesn't look that good either. And audio's not good. Like, all this does not look promising, but it's only been one race. Like, I don't want to judge it in four minutes. Four minutes, I include loading screens and picking my car. So I'm not gonna judge it quite yet, but, like, early impressions on a straightaway, not good. Let's do a time trial. It's weird that they're having us do time trials first and, like, elimination races, not, like, normal races. Okay. But yeah, so far, not promising. Like, I've, I've definitely played worse. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I'm pretty sure I've played worse than this. What? Wait, the controls are completely different now. They're completely different. What? It's nowhere near as loosey-goosey? 
at all. It's like a different kind of odd now. Oh dear. So... Now I feel like I'm completely magnetized to like the track, right? Like I feel like I'm almost like playing like a slot car racer. Where like I can't really move too much on the track. And what I think the problem is, is that either you turn all the way, you turn none at all. Like, there's no, like, analog, right? Like, if I just barely move the analog stick, I don't, like, barely turn. Like, I gotta go all the way with it, or at least halfway. And if I go halfway, a halfway in the analog stick is the same as going all the way. 100% the same. It's the first thing I'm noticing. I don't understand why. So it's like every event gonna control differently, like while in the same car is the big question now. I'll take the silver. And what's odd too is B is to continue, A is to retry. So like naturally I'm like gonna try and press A at the end of an event now. And it's gonna make me retry it. Thankfully I'm catching myself. That's a weird button placement. Like, you should be like B to retry or like Y to retry. A is usually just kind of like, yeah, I'm good. Let's go through. But it feels like it's a trap to get back, uh, put back into a loading screen. <laughs> okay. Hollow chase. What is this? Catch the hollow ghost as quickly as possible. Catch up with the ghost. You might have to drive into it. Okay. You must drive into it. Got it. But yeah, so. The controls of that race were a lot better. But yeah, like, I'm noticing, like, there's, like, no, like, gradual turning. It's like you're playing, like, a, uh, like, a racing game, like, on a keyboard, right? Like, where you only have, like, digital input. And they took that digital input and put it on the analog stick. Like, it feels like you're going all the way or none of the way. Which is why the turning feels so horrendous. Like, really, really, really bad. And now I gotta catch this thing? I don't know if I can make this happen. This might be one where I'll have to retry, I think. Oof. Yikes. If you crash a bunch, like, you're just done. Alright, so we gotta retry. It's a quick restart, at least. I got that going for me. But I think, like, the most offensive thing right now is just, like, how... I don't know, like, the game just looks bad. I gotta retry again, but, like, the thing I'm noticing the most right now, like, graphically, and it's what's throwing me off, is the fences. When I get up to the wire fences, they barely, like, render in. Like, they're just kind of, like, not there, and, like, a lot of games, like, on lower settings would do that, and, like, I expect that on the Wii U, but, like, these fences are really close, and you can barely tell they're fences. Like, it's, like, they're not even trying to, like, really fully render them in. So that's, like, really distracting to me. Because I keep looking at that. You know what, this game might control better on the D-pad. Because at least I can tap the D-pad really quick to, like, do, like, more precise movements. But then once you lose control, once it's over. Yeah, I'm just taking note of that. Like, just, like, how things, like, render in the distance looks bad. Especially, like, on the wire sort of stuff. Which is usually the case of, like, hardware this powerful. But, like, it's really apparent on this one. I guess the car model itself, the car model is not terrible, and like the uh, the HUD, the UI is not that bad. It's just the environment looks terrible. And like it doesn't like really scream Hot Wheels to me. And I swear I'm not crashing on purpose, this is just how the car controls. I'm going back to the analog stick, maybe that'll help again. I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, so I got a good top speed now. We're at 140. I still can't catch up to this thing. 
150. How much speed do I need? How are you supposed to do this in 30 seconds is the real question. And I lost everything. I had to get them then and there or I was going to lose. So you really can't miss a single one of these like top speed markers. And the problem is like you, you physically can't steer the car well enough to actually hit them. And this game, like, wants you to get so much speed to catch up, but if you crash, you lose so much, and then you have to, like, hit these markers again, and then the car just kind of, like, spins out like that randomly. Ugh. I don't know why it controls like this. Like, I don't know, like, who played this game that thought, like, this was, like, acceptable. Holy crap. Oh god. Alright, all right. no, we're still on, we're still on, we're still on. Nope, I'm missing every top speed thing, and I'm constantly losing speed because I can't strain out the car. Okay. Let's see. Can I catch up this time? And when you actually want to do a drift, you can't. Holy man. Again, like, how is 30 seconds possible? You must have to, like, get, like, a better car. There must be better cars in this game. I swear that first turn's impossible. Then once the car starts sliding like that, there's no recovering it. Is there, like, control options? Lean control would be for a bike, I think. Yeah, no, there's nothing. I was like, maybe there's like a digital mode? And for some reason, like, there's like no analog mode selected? I was, was like a long shot? No. Okay, 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 no, no, we're stable, we're stable, we're stable. We missed one of the speed ups, that's fine. Okay, I'm almost caught up. Come on. I'm, I'm basically touching it. Yes! How long did that take me? They want me to cut four seconds off that. Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> this game's like actual garbage. It's only been 10 minutes. 13 minutes, actually. It's bad. Okay. Because, like, the big problem is, like, I can, like, forgive, like, bad sound, I can forgive, like, bad graphics and stuff, as long as, like, your racing game, like, controls well. And the controls are too much of a hurdle right now. Great work on stage one. Keep For me to say, like, this is acceptable, two. it's not. This. It's literally not acceptable how bad this is. Make sure that you don't get and now we gotta go on an ice either. track? Are they insane? What? Holy crap, even my dog's barking and mad. Oof. Does it control any differently on the ice? Why do I get better grip on the ice? Why is my car controlled better on ice? That doesn't make sense. That's actually nonsense. What? Like, I even strain out more, like, easily. I'm gonna have to restart this. Oh, God.
Yeah, like, I kind of like the idea, okay? The one thing, the one idea I do like is the fact that each of the boost pads, like, increase your max speed. And you can lose that max speed by crashing and stuff, because that adds, like, I think a little nice concept to the game. So, conceptually, I, I, I dig that. That's cool. So, I'm going to throw my one praise out right now. Like, I like this. It also really influences you to kind of, like, steer around the track well, so you don't have to break and lose that top speed you just earned. So, like, that's good. I just lost, right? Yeah. I can't even make it through one lap. Oof. It's gonna be tough. But that's basically all I can say is, like, they have one cool mechanic in this so far. It also means, like, I... But on the flip side of the mechanic, too, like, it, it also makes me feel like I can't really, like, decelerate, I can't break. Even though I'm doing it right now, like, it feels like it's a huge punishment to lose, like, so much of my top speed potential. Especially when so many, like, so many of these tracks so far have a lot of straightaways. And places, like, really lose a, uh, a lot of progress here. Oof, the controls when you come off that jump are so bad. Right, let's try one more time here. I, it hasn't even been 20 minutes, and I feel like I've already seen enough, to be honest. Like, I don't really feel like much more needs to be said or shown. Oh, wait, does my top speed get affected if I break? Maybe my top speed doesn't get affected, because I'm going up to 124 here. Oh, maybe it does get affected. I wasn't 100%. I'm not even steering until I'm about to land. Already lost. <sighs> Holy crap. And this is like this is like supposed to be for kids, I would assume. Like it's a Hot Wheels branded game, so like you would think like this would be something like you give to your child, like on the Wii U going back when it comes out. Like I'm almost 30, and I can play like Dirt Rally and like Forza and Gran Turismo. Uh easily. This I can't. To me, that's a little bit alarming. That is really, really alarming to me. Oh, this is shockingly clean so far. Okay, that's been shockingly, uh, shockingly clean. Now I gotta do another lap like that and catch up somehow. Oof, I don't know if I can do it. Cause I gotta get second place as like that's the first goal, is second, I, I guess. Hmm. I can't, like, stay on the track properly. I lost, right? Yep. I, I passed. And I guess, like, these are the online leaderboards. Like, people have, like, farmed out wins. Okay. I don't really feel like I need to play any more of this, to be honest. It only took four races and a bunch of retries. Like, I just don't have any ambition. <laughs> this game is, like, this game is really, really bad. Just because, like, you can't control it. Again, it's like there's, like, no analog steering. Like, it feels like it's digital on the analog stick and on the D-pad, which makes sense on the D-pad. But I can't do, like, these, like, very small, precise little turns. I mean, you could almost do it. But here's the thing. Okay, this is the turn with my joystick, like, at half. Here's 75%. And there's anything beyond 75%. Like, there's, like, three phases, it looks like. 
but to get a tiny turn, like you gotta go over halfway and then you gotta just barely stop yourself, or else you go so far, it's not even funny. Like, there's like no gradualness to this, like it's not... You gotta like actually, you gotta like actually concentrate. I'm going in a very specific spot to do a very tiny turn like this, it looks like. Ugh. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I could just be bad, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, like, it looks like there's like a good variety of like game modes in this, and again, like, I like the top, the, the top speed mechanic in a way, but I also hate it in a different way. I'm not sure, like, why we got like this big open worldly kind of area. But I guess it's here if you want to just, like, drive around or something. But that's all of this game I can really stomach. Uh, it's Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. I don't think I'll ever be playing this again unless, you know, I really just feel the need to, like, get revenge on it. I, I don't think I will. I think I'm content ever playing it again. Uh, it has one cool thing in it. And the rest of it so far in 20 minutes was enough to make me not want to play it ever again. And when a game only takes 20 minutes to make me do that... Not a good sign, but uh, thank you for watching this Wii U's day. I'll be back next Tuesday with hopefully a better Wii U game to feature next week. We shall see, uh, but y'all have a good day, and toodles.